Hello everybody, I'm Games to 522 and welcome back to more Metroid Prime. In the last video, we started doing more. item cleanup. And here, we are going to be continuing that. So, first order of business is we actually need to head over here. Also, for the longest time, I never knew you can get up here from right there. So, stoops to me. We're going to go ahead and get through here. Now that we have the plasma beam, we can take care of another thing here. There's going to be a lot of frozen things you need the plasma beam for in this place. First one being... This frozen Chozo hand. Or the, the, his hands. Catch these hands. And this opens up a trap door. And inside... Another artifact. The Artifact of the Sun, the ninth of twelve. Eight down, four to go. Alrighty. That's all we needed to come this way for. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We're going to head to the deeper area of the drifts. Which we have to get there through the door up there. All right. Don't mind me. I'm doing my own thing. Now let's see here. Actually, let me check, let me, get, actually, let me go back and check the, the East Ice Ruins real quick. Because I get the feeling I'm going to be missing something there if I don't go, if I don't check. Let's find out. Yeah, you can't absorb these shots, can you? You're dead. Okay. Let's see. Nope, I hear something. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's another wall you can melt right here. Now then. Now, if we come up over this way... Yep, I hear something else. Yep, here's a spider ball track. Which can take us up here. To get another missile expansion. Okay, so it was a good thing that I checked this place. We're going back that way anyway. Let's head through the plasma walkway just to make sure. Plasma beam stun. Yep. 
Yeah, they can't really do an MP EMP on you if they burn alive. Because robots can melt, don't you know? Alright. Ah, yes. You're here to remind me of where I need to go. High levels of phase on found on mobile source. The elite quarters. This is why we're taking care of all of our item pickups now, because I think we're just going to need every last bit. Okay, but there are some, I think, one power up here. And it's actually going to be over here. You fuck. This thing needs to die. There we go. Oh, thank you, Plasma Beam, for being so overpowered. But as you can see, there's another block right here we can melt with a power bomb expansion. Now, I think that is the only item. I'm not hearing anything else, so yes, I believe we are good now. So now we just need to get up to this wave door so we can go ahead and keep exploring. guys if I can lock on there we go now give me these health pickups please get wrecked these guys drop hundreds at least so that's th that's nice all right of course there are two paths that we can take here we do have to go down both paths, sadly, just because of one item. Fuck! God damn it. Wait a sec. Okay, I thought I heard an item. I was just hearing things. Here we go. Okay, so let's see. We do need to check the quarantine cave but we also need to get up to the control tower so first order of business is we're going to go to the control tower and then backtrack it's going to be dark in here so we're going to go ahead and switch to our friendly our friendly thermal vision if I can open the door from here or make an attempt to. There we go. All right. Let's get going. Excuse me, I don't got time for you guys. And I got the power up in there. Alright. That's what's so handy about the x-ray visor. They both dropped hundreds, wow. All right. 
right. Um, control tower is right above us. Now, I think we should be able to see now. Now, first order of business is we're going to go ahead and kill all of the, the flying pirates in this area. nothing to me all right so now that we have the plasma beam we can do something here that we weren't able to before that being melting ice There we go. And we can actually melt the ice right here. There's supposed to be ice right here, but I melted it by hitting it. And then there's actually some uh, tanks right here that we could shoot with a missile. And we actually open up a hole on the side in doing so. We follow this hole, and we find another Chozo artifact. The Artifact of Elder, the third of twelve. We're only missing three more artifacts, everybody. And now we can basically take this fallen control tower Back to where we were. All right. Now that that is taken care of, next order of business is I need to uh, backtrack. I need to backtrack back to the ruined courtyard so we can enter the quarantine cave. So I will see you guys there. Beep. All right. We've now arrived in the quarantine cave. And now that we're here, there are two grapple points that we can actually go to from here. Let's see. There is also a, a Gleoth right there. Well, we're just going to ignore him. Take the ye olde spider trail all the way across here. Right. Then we can grapple across here so we can get to this little tunnel. Here we got a missile expansion. Oh, let's see. Is there anything else in here? No. Next thing. Oh, what the fuck? Let me up. Thank you. Oh, I could have just done that from the start. I'm taking the spider ball way around. Oh, well. The more you know. Okay, then. Now, checking my map. Yep. Yeah, looks like we need to keep heading this way. Because it's, now it's time for us to go back to these areas that are in the back ends of the of the Fendrana area. 
in order to pick stuff up. Now, as you can see, now that we have Plasma Beam, we can melt this ice. So we can come in here and grab ourselves our second to last E-Tank. I don't know where the other guy is, and nor do I really care. I was getting a little tripped in my eyes for playing tricks on me when I was looking at the map for a second. Holy shit. All right. Um, now, I don't believe there are anything in, like, the split hallways that this place, does, that this later area does. So, I don't think there's any particular path we need to take. So, we'll just go ahead and stay above water. Because being underwater is scary. Now we could definitely do stuff in this area we weren't able to before. Give me this help, thank you. Well, we need to go ahead and grapple off of this fellow. We need to try and make it over here. And I didn't make it. Because there is this missile expansion and the ice down here we weren't able to get earlier. But since we have grapple coming into this room, we can get it. It's just our little... Our little flying stingray friend it needs to be cooperative. There we go. And if we get up to the top right here, and if we look up, we can finally hit this stalactite. Which breaks a hole in the ice so we can get underneath. If I can figure out where the fuck I am. There we go. All right, takes care of that. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and keep going to Fendrana's Edge. Which we are going to, on our way back, we're going to drop by the gravity chamber. dead ah, god damn it again again just get me up here okay okay so let's swing our way up Okay, yeah. Then we jump up here. Yes, there is a hidden door right here. I thought so. There's a hidden plasma door right here. With another artifact.
The Artifact of Spirit, the 11th of 12. We're only missing two artifacts now. But there is still, but we can still go higher. Despite finding that. Looks like we have our little Stingray friend. And we can enter this small little tunnel that's all the way at the top. And we have another Power Bomb expansion. Now, I'm not sure what our maximum Power Bomb count is. But I think that might have been the last the last power bomb expansion in the game. Suck it, fusion. Let's go ahead and get down. Now let's just go ahead and head underwater. And as we make our bay way back, makes our make our bay bay make our bay whack. As we make our bay whack. We're going to go ahead and drop by the gravity chamber. Do believe there is some things that I missed there. Oh, and there is actually a purple door up there I never even went through. Which, if I recall, I think that's just the... Okay, let's, let's just go ahead and get back up here. Nothing happened. Alright. All this traversing and platforming and the like. Oh god damn it. Yeah, I, I think I should have just grappled across right there. There we go. Then we can get to the wave door right here, which we haven't been in. Yeah, it's gonna blow these blow this guy to shit. Okay, but I don't hear any power-ups in here, but I know there's yep, there is that missile expansion up there we never got. So how are we gonna go about this? Well I think I should probably kill these things. Okay, now I believe if I recall. Yep, I knew it. We have to melt that whole stalactite of icicles with the plasma beam in order to get, reveal a grapple point so we can swing up here. Now we're only missing six missile expansions in the game. Keeping my ears open and I don't hear anything. sitting here thinking, are we really done with Fendrana Drifts? I mean, I've 100%ed this game multiple times, but even I end up missing at least one of something somewhere. I think that's it. It looks like we're done in Fintrana Drifts now.
There's nothing else in any of the research in any of the research area. So I believe our next course of action is to head back to the Phazon Mines. Let's go ahead and grapple up here. This is actually something up here. No, it's just a platform. Or maybe I have gotten what's up there already. Who knows? Any hoosin. Instead of having you guys just sit through me walking back, I'm just going to cut back to the entrance area of the face on mines. Because... In order to go ahead and pick up stuff that we need along the way to where we have to go, we need to start from the beginning. So, beep. Alright, everybody. We're back in the Phazon Mines. So, first order of business. Damn it. This video is also really long because I was taking the time to double check all of the items because again it feels like i'm missing something but i went through the i went through a checklist and apparently i'm caught up on everything so far yeah i think it's a lot more ammo efficient to just use just charge stun these guys well our first order of business there's this plasma door right here that we can't get into Stay on the ground. Talk about kicking someone when they're down, Jesus. Alright. Takes care of that. Thankfully, the ice ones are the easiest to deal with. There we go. There we go. There should be like one more. I think that's going to drop down. Yep. I knew it. All right. Now, there is a grate right here, but we have to use a power bomb in order to blow it open. And then we can scan this console. And that deactivates the force field to that plasma door. I... I I know, game. I'm just doing a lot of shit right now. Don't test me. Alright. So now let's make our way back so we can go inside, so we can go through this plasma door. And behind it is the final missile combo for the plasma beam. The flamethrower. Just like the Wave Buster, it uses missiles over time, but it's basically like a short to mid-range flamethrower. You can kind of aim it as you're firing it, too. Like so. It doesn't home in or anything. It's 
The flamethrower feels a lot more crazy with uh, motion controls. I love how effective the ice beam is on just literally everything. Now we actually have another item in this room. Whenever you scan this, if you scan this container, it can it says that it can actually be breaked by a power bomb. And when we do that, out pops an elite pirate. So we're just gonna pelt super missiles in his face every time he does a slam. Generally, whenever he gets close, he'll try to do a slam. He seems to be being uncooperative. There we go. And he's dead. Also, make sure you scan him because he's the only one in the game. And then when we kill him... We get another artifact. The Artifact of Warrior, the 6th of 12. And we have only one artifact remaining. Whew, now then. Let's go ahead and make our way up. We've gotten everything that we needed to in this place. At least I think I did. God damn it. Gotta take out all these turrets to make sure. Damn, I lost a lot of HP from that. Nope, I don't hear anything, so we are good. So that was a waste of my time. Yeah, given my health, I'm just gonna take this nice and slow. I'm not just gonna jump through like I normally do. Given the, my state of life, as it were. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, uh, looks like we need to head up. We just need to head up to the second floor. Which we can easily just get to the third floor and then just drop down from there. Because this will just take us back. Here we go. Okay, well I tried. 
And now we head down to the second level. did get the missile expansion right there. Now we have this room. Now we have explored this room already, so there's no need to go through the door in front of us. So we want to head to the white door that's on the second floor. Of course we got invisible pirates, why wouldn't we? There we go. Making our way through. Now we've got this room. And we take the... We take the ice platform right here. Oop. Yeah, I should have expected that. I knew this guy was going to break out at some point. That's right. Only do slams for me. That's what I want. Come on. Come on. You know who you are. You know what you want to do. See, that's what I thought. Then we got a bunch of ice dudes here. But I'm actually going to save the video and we'll stop here because we did cleaning up we killed some things and a bunch of other things and whatnot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless it was long for me but it's probably not no nearly as long for you guys but anywho if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and leave a like leave a comment tell me what you thought and if you're new to the channel and you want to keep up with this series this adventure be sure to hit the subscribe button ring the bell to get notified whenever i upload I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. It means a lot. And I will see you guys on the next video. Till then, see you then.